This week, House Republicans once again attacked the rights of citizens to petition their government. They passed a law that would restrict how citizens would actually be able to gather signatures for ballot initiatives across the state. Uh, my colleague, Jeff Irwin from Ann Arbor, summed up our concerns very well on the House floor. This bill shortens the time that citizens have to hold government accountable and make a change in their law. The current law says that citizens have 180 days, but petitioners can, by proving that the signers are valid and properly registered, demonstrate that older signatures are valid. That's the current law. What this law will do is this law will take that opportunity away from our citizens. It will weaken the power that our citizens have in our Constitution to change our law or change our Constitution. How many of your voters have asked you to diminish their influence over their government and punctuate the power of the special interests? How many of your voters sent you here asking to take away some of their power of initiative and some of their power to change our Constitution? I would submit that it's zero. I would submit that the people who've been asking you to make it more difficult to make the ballot are the people who already run this town. The big money special interests that peddle influence in the halls of the Capitol and the halls of the Hob, they want this because they're afraid that if the citizens have the power to pass laws that are unpopular here in this chamber, that they'll do that. And that some of those laws might diminish their profits. Some of those laws might damage their shareholders. Well, we're not here for their shareholders. We're here for the public. It was obvious that House Republicans uh, brought this bill up this week to undermine the petitions that are being gathered across the state of Michigan on a number of initiatives. They're undermining the rights of those citizens, and that's why we offered up an amendment to push that start date to next year and not impact the elections that are coming up in November. I'm offering you another chance to show that this is not about politics, that this is not about suppressing the rights of people who are actually getting their petition signed today. And my amendment would say the enacting date won't be January 1st of 2017, but January 2nd of 2017. You have an opportunity to take your rhetoric that was coming out of the committee from your side of the aisle and put it into action. The amendment is not adopted. After the vote, House Democrats used their constitutional right to stop immediate effect, to make sure that this bill started next year and not this year. Mr. Speaker, on the question of final passage of Senate Bill 776, there are 57 aye votes and 52 nay votes. A majority of the members elected serving having voted therefore, the bill is passed. The chair recognizes Majority Full Leader Nesbitt. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move for immediate effect. The Majority Full Leader moves for immediate effect. Does the bill rise? Sit. The House will go to ease to call the chair. The chair denied our motion and gave us a weak excuse on why he did so. The chair recognizes Minority Full Leader Singh. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I move for a record roll call vote on that motion. Uh, Representative, I have already ruled and the bill has left the chamber. The chair, the, the chair recognizes Minority Full Leader Singh. Thank you very much. I'd like to know who removed the, the bill. When who actually was the staff person that you gave the opportunity to remove the bill so we would not have our legal constitutional right to ask for a roll call vote on immediate effect. Who did you give that bill to to remove it from the chamber so we would not have the right to challenge the immediate effect? Representative, I've already ruled. I ruled immediate effect was ordered before you made the request. In the end, it was clear that special interests won out. They took away the constitutional rights of our legislators, as well as the constitutional rights of our citizens to petition their government.